Hi guys! Holy crap, long time no see. I think it's been like two weeks since my last video, which is just completely unacceptable in YouTube land, but um, I got married. So I am so sorry that it's been such a long time since my last video. Things just got really, really hectic leading up to the wedding. Um, I didn't film at all the week leading up to the wedding, and then the next week we were on our honeymoon. We just got back on Sunday. I'm filming this on Tuesday. Yesterday was just sort of a whirlwind trying to get things together, um, just clean up the apartment and get back in the swing of things before I start back work tomorrow. So I hope that I'm going to have this video up today. Um, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so I don't, I can't really think of what to talk about in terms of the wedding and the honeymoon and stuff like that so I would love to do like a Q&A for my next video but I figured for the first video back I would do something a little bit easier I have my ipsy bag as well as a an item that I redeemed points for and also I have an ipsy offer that I purchased this month so I wanted to share all of that with you but if you have questions for me for my like wedding and honeymoon Q&A, I would love to answer them in my next video. So leave comments down below so that I can answer them in my next video. Um, and just, I don't want to skate over things and I don't want to talk too much about things that you don't want to hear about. So just let me know what sort of questions you have. Um, I also posted some pictures on Instagram. I will have that link down below if you'd like to check it out. But um, yeah, I am married now, so that's cool. Um, we just did simple bands, um, so it just sort of fits in with the shape of the teardrop engagement ring, but yeah. I am, I guess, Mrs. Israel now. I do need to do a formal name change with the state, etc., so that'll be my next thing along with my thank you cards, but um, yeah, I'm happy to get back into filming videos and sharing everything with you guys, chatting with you guys in the comments. I have missed you guys so much, so if I haven't gotten back to your comments for a while, I do apologize. I'm going to be trying to catch up in the next couple of days, so please be patient with me while I get back into it. And let's go ahead into the Ipsy stuff. Alright, so here is my Ipsy for October 2016. I was so excited for this bag. I posted what the bag looked like a couple of days before October even started. I just, I love this bag so much. <laughs> I usually save bags from Ipsy to send to other people. This one is staying with me forever, 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 forever. This is totally up my alley. It's like a baby pink and it's got all of these spoopy doodles on it. I just, I love it. There's a little witch, and a black cat, and a magic potion, and a spell book, and um, just a bat, and black lipstick, and I just, can we just, I love it. I love it so much, and this even has like a little spoopy ghost as the pull, like the little zipper pull, and this was collaboration with um, Val Free. I don't know how to say it. If you know how to pronounce it, please let me know because I am pretty ignorant. Um, this is the card this month. It is Super Spoopy 2. Um, the theme is Black Magic. I love everything about this so, so much. I love Halloween. I, it, it, I am a goth deep down inside my black, black soul. Um, I just love it so much. So I'm really happy that this is the theme this month. And I did redeem points for a product posted about this on Instagram as soon as I saw it on the Ipsy site because I could not pass it up. It, this was only 250 points and as you know most pricier things are 500, 1000 points. Who saves the points for that long? Um, but this is a full size liquid lipstick from Caked Makeup. It's their lip fondant and they only had one shade available so that's what I got. Um, the shade is called QT like QT. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. My camera does not do autofocus, but this is the shade of it. Really cute packaging. It's like sprinkles and pink frosting. Um, it looks so different in the tube than it does on my lips. In the tube, it looks like 
more of a warm nude like almost a peachy nude but when I put it on my lips it turns into um, a little bit deeper and it becomes more of a rosy tone and I'm actually really really happy with the color of this so that's what it looks like there I really like the formula so far and it smells incredible yeah it's almost like coconutty I really really like the formula of this so far and I like the shade of it and I'm really happy that I got it for free for only 250 points on Ipsy. Now let's go ahead into the bag itself. Oh my god, I cannot even stand how cute this is. It's killing me. Um, the first thing that I'm pulling out here is a skincare item. Um, this is from a Korean brand called Sally's Box and this is their Aqua Moist Gel Cream. So it's just in a little pot like this. Not my favorite... Um, way to store skincare but it is what it is to me it looks like the belief aqua bomb but it's it seems very different um the smell in this is very fresh and almost florally yeah um a little bit like clean linen and a little bit like floral um whereas the belief aqua bomb smells like sugary lemons which i love the aqua bomb so much it is just Ugh, it's so good. Um, have not tried this yet, but I will soon, and I will report back probably in an empties because I think this is only like 5 mils of product, so I could probably get through this in about 2 or 3 weeks, and I'll, I'll see how it is. The next thing I'm pulling out is a brush, which is always nice to get. Um, this is from a brand called Lottie London, and I was trying to find the price or like the value of this, and it was very hard to find US retailers for this line um, but I, I did find one and I got the price and it's on the screen right now probably but um, this is the brush it's just an eyeshadow brush and I think that this sells at like Superdrug um, in the UK but it feels really nice it's really cute it's like a hot pink fuchsia color and it's synthetic bristles it'll be great to use for packing on a color on the shot on the shadow on the eyelid <laughs> so always great to get brushes in ipsy the next thing i'm getting i was actually kind of disappointed about um I've, I've used this before and i've liked it and it's been fine um but just it's kind of a low value item this is the essence super fine eyeliner pen in waterproof and actually i think um before i filmed this i opened it up and the pen on this is crazy i think that i used a different waterproof eyeliner from Essence because look at this. What is this? What is this? This looks insane. Um, maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be great to get as far into the inner corner as you can. Um, I, I try to. Sometimes I, I fail. Sometimes I blink and I get eyeliner all over my eyelid. But, um, I mean, it's going to be great to have on hand. Essence, I do like their waterproof eyeliner pens, so... Um, I'm just interested in seeing how the shape works for function. The next item I'm pulling out is from The Balm, and I have used up one of these size products before, um, The Balm Desert, but this is their Cabana Boy Shadow Slash Blush, and between the two shades that they were featuring, I'm really glad that I got this one. It's more of like a deep plummy color. I don't really want to swatch it, but... I think I might anyway. Um, I was going to save it for later on, but this feels really, really soft. Wow. Oh my gosh. That feels so soft. This is going to be a beautiful shade for the fall. So that's it there. It's a little bit of like a blue-based, almost pinky plum color. I think that that's going to be gorgeous on my skin. Sheared out a little bit. Yeah. That's going to be really, really nice. And the final product that I got this month is a full-size lipstick. Um, this is from Tease Cosmetics. I've gotten a base coat from them and something else, a brush from them. And they're okay. Um, this is the Eve's Ready to Wear Lipstick. This is an amazing deal. And it sold out stupid fast because it was such an amazing deal. Um, I think it was called the Masquerade set. 
I think. Um, if you are not familiar with Ipsy offers, you do not need to be subscribed to Ipsy to get these offers. Um, I will have the link to the page down below because they do bring out new things like almost every day I think. I'm not sure how often but very very frequently with different brands that are being featured in their boxes or in their bags each month. So this is everything that I got. This was $15 shipped. You guys know how much I love my sheet masks. I can't stop and I won't stop. Um, even though I have like 90 sheet masks, I needed it. I needed it. So the first two that came in the set are from the same line. These are both from Leaders and it's their Seven Wonders line, which are biocellulose, like hydrogel masks. Um, so we have the Caribbean Coconut Calming Mask and the Kalahari Melon Moisturizing Mask. And I've used one of these very recently that I got from a giveaway with Leaders, and I liked it. And I haven't tried this one, and I think it'll be great for the winter time. Um, these masks retail at like $6 a piece. So to get these plus all of the other stuff for $15 shipped was a no-brainer. The next thing that came in here is from Pony Effect, which is a, I think everything that came in here is Korean, um, but I will be checking along the way. Um, this is Pony Effect Soul Luminous Boosting Mask Pack for Express Soothing. Um, it just, it looks so pretty. It's like rose gold packaging. I'm probably blinding you right now. I'm sorry. Um, I've never tried anything from Pony Effect, so I'm excited about that one. Then we have two masks from the same line. This is from Bon Vivant. This is their That Day Mask Pack. The pink one is for brightening and the green one is for blemish care. Never tried these. I think these are a new release from Bon Vivant, so excited about that. Then we have two masks here from Patchology, which I think these are like $8 a piece themselves. So. We have the Exfoliate Flash Mask, as well as the Flash Mask Illuminate to brighten dull skin, and this is in their limited edition Touch of Lace. So I'm not sure if like the whole mask is lacy, but you can see like the lace detail on the, um, the package itself, so I'm curious whether it's going to be a full lace mask or not. Then. This brand is newly launching to the U.S. This is, I, I'm probably going to butcher this, this is from Sue A.E. And this green one is the Handbang Green Tea Mask. And then the black one is the Purifying Black Charcoal Mask. So excited about those. I think these are being carried at Walmart now. Then we got the Bio Republic Pomegranate Crush Illuminating Fiber Mask. The Pure Lease Prevent Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. And we got two sets of other masks. Not, not face masks, but these are um, the Beauty Kitchen by Heather Mariana Collagen Gel Lip Masks. So they look like this. Really, really cute. That'll be fun to use. And then we got two of these, and I thought that we were only getting one, but I'm really surprised that there were two. These are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, and there's two pairs that came in here. So it was 15 pieces for $15 shipped. I just could not believe it. I jumped on it. I think it sold out within like two hours or something like that. Some people were really upset that they weren't able to get this set, so I do apologize to anybody who had wanted it who missed out. Um, Hopefully they do more mask sets in the future, and I will absolutely be buying them because I am a junkie. Hi, my name is Jamie, and I have a problem. So yeah, that was everything that came from Ipsy this month. Um, please don't forget to leave me questions pertaining to wedding, wedding planning, honeymooning. Um, I would love to answer the questions that you have about what I've been up to the past couple of weeks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so that we can stay in touch. Give this video a thumbs up if you love Ipsy Bag Unbaggings and Ipsy Offers. And I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye.